hey guys welcome back to my channel it is Lydia I'm coming to you guys on a sunny autumnal day here in England <laughs> where we have just been announced that we're going into a second lockdown uh, the feeling all around camp is one of I guess personally I'm feeling really anxious about it really sad about it but I mean the necessary has to be done and all that last time at the start of lockdown i kind of came to you guys and i showed you what i eat in a day and you guys said you really loved that video and you wanted more of that so today i'm coming with just that more of what i eat in a day in the last video i was talking a lot about habit forming and how i'm using habits to help me reach my goals right so for example in my last video i even mentioned about how i put my water bottle on the side of my bed so that when i wake up in the morning it's a visual clue for me to drink some water which means that i feel fuller for longer and it means that i'm less likely to snack you know all that stuff so it's all about forming habits to help you keep up with your goals and so with that i want to say a massive thank you to my sponsor who are noom noom uses cbt which is cognitive behavior therapy and psychology to approach weight loss so noom focuses on making tangible sustainable lifestyle shifts which means that regardless of what's happening in the world regardless of what's going on in your life you have these behavior patterns which you know that are ingrained in you and so that is what i'm going to be showing you guys today how i use noom to help me sustain and keep to my weight goals some of the features that i love include the calorie counter food logging exercise logging and in fact it even has a pedometer so now that i'm on my morning walk my steps are being recorded and then that's logged in to get started in noom all you have to do is take a short health survey to customize your plan you only need to spend about five to ten minutes max every single day on the program to see your results my personal goal is to maintain my current weight however if i was to lose an extra one kg to five kgs i won't be mad i'm gonna carry on with my walk this morning and then we can head off to the supermarket pick up some bits and then i'll show you exactly what i eat in a day finish my walk chilly walk in the morning um i've got about four thousand steps another thing that i forgot to mention is that noom actually syncs with a lot of devices like um my garmin i've got my garmin here fitbits as well it also syncs with those i know that this morning you guys saw me weigh myself um weighing myself is something that actually i'm pretty comfortable with but i know that not everyone is and some people have a lot of anxiety especially if you haven't weighed yourself in a long while um noom actually encourages you to take your weight daily and the reason for that is that so that every single day when you wake up you know where you are and you know that this is what you need to do in order to keep track to your goals and i know weighing yourself is scary trust me when you haven't weighed yourself in a long time you'll be thinking do i need to the tech basically teach you how psychologically you can get over the fear of weighing yourself like i said it really focuses a lot on cbt and psychology um, and then that way you can actually put in place practical steps to help you defeat anything that might be in your way so for example putting your scale somewhere where you see it somewhere where you go to first thing in the morning like for me it's the bathroom because obviously i go and i wash my teeth um and i use the toilet and then i see the scale and i'm like ah Time to get a measurement so that I know and I set myself up well for the day. I am now in the supermarket, just about to do a quick shop. I kind of know what I want to get, but if you are somebody who doesn't really know what to kind of get for your meals, Noom can actually help you with that as well. I like the way they categorize their food. They categorize their food based on calorie density. So calorie density is basically how much, how many calories you get in the certain amount of foods. Noom is not a diet. It actually encourages you to consider and have food within all three different food categorizations. So yellow food, green food, and red food. It just means that you need to be mindful of which food you are having per day to ensure that you are still remaining in your calorie deficit. I said this before in my first video, but the only way to lose weight is to make sure that you are in a calorific deficit. It even tells you here, Yellow food is like grilled chicken, turkey breast, tuna, salmon, lean ground beef, eggs, avocado, um, Greek yogurt, and then red foods will be like the oils, chia seeds, nuts, almonds, berries, and all that kind of stuff. So to me, that works really well as like a shopping list almost, so that when I'm in the supermarket, I'm like, okay, do I have enough green foods? Do I have enough yellow foods? Do I have enough red foods? Just so that I feel like I've got all of the different categories hitting and you know guys i like my food to be tasty so i will never miss out on seasoning i will never skip seasoning and all of that because i can't how come i kill myself I, 
I can't come and punish myself in this life, honestly. So let me go and get some green bits. That's usually at the start of the supermarket. That's all like the fresh stuff, um, the vegetables, the salads. And the thing about all the green um, categorized foods is that you can have lots of it. Please scan an item or touch a button to start. So here we go this is what i eat in a day so first things first anyone who knows me knows i love eggs eggs for breakfast always fried eggs sunny side up boiled eggs give me an egg and i'm happy one thing that i really love about noom is the fact that you can actually record your meals there is a food tracker where you can use to document all the food that you're having each day and it also adds up the calories so you know exactly where you stand with your calories Meal number two is a delicious Thai inspired chicken dish. If you watched my last video, you know that I typically have two meals a day. So I start my first meal quite late in the day, about 11 o'clock, and then I have my second one around 3, 4 p.m. That usually has me feeling okay, but if I do feel peckish, I will have a snack, which I will show you guys later on. But for now, let me show you meal number two. <laughs> Big shout out to my girl Goy for the recipe. Honestly, I don't know what I'll do without her. This is so delicious. What I'm gonna do is leave the recipe in the description box. So be sure to open it up and you'll know exactly what you need. Bit of this, bit of that. Soy sauce, garlic powder, black pepper, oyster sauce, sweet chili, some chilies if you want, chopped onions, lime leaves, and mix it all up. And it is honestly just mwah. Another cool thing about Noom is that once you finish logging in all your food for the day, you can actually get an analysis of where you spent your calories. So how much of your food was green, how much of your food was red, and how much of your food was yellow. That way you can be more mindful for the next day to see what changes you can make in order to have a better day. I know that some people may frown at me using some seasoning on my food, but the thing is, I honestly cannot have food that is unseasoned. It's just not fun or sustainable. So for me, it's important that anything that I do is something that I can stick to for a long time in order to form a habit and also to see results. So yes, I am absolutely gonna season my food. All the details are in the description box so you can see exactly what I use. You have to try this chicken recipe and let me know what you think. It's about 920 calories for two chicken thighs and about 200 grams of tender stem broccoli. Don't do your broccoli like I did like this. Um, I seasoned it a little bit with some chilies and some salt and a little bit of spray oil, but then I kind of cooked them for too long. So don't do that for your broccoli, honestly, but it is just delicious. Try this recipe and let me know. So as I said at the start, I usually have two meals a day and a snack. Uh, however, today I'm going to be showing you another meal example. This one is a fish dish. I kind of claim that I don't like fish, but I do be cooking fish a lot. This is delicious. You absolutely have to try this. I know I said that about the chicken, but you definitely have to try this one. It's a coconut red curry fish stir fry and only about 760 calories for a portion. Again, I will leave all of the details in the description box so you can know exactly how much I used for this recipe. <laughs> Another cool thing about Noom is that they try as much as possible to keep you on track and motivated to reach your personal goals. One of my favorite learnings was the Motivation SOS Plan, which is basically another tool to help you reach your goals. So for this, they can even send you an email or even a text message to remind you of your goals if they feel that you're slipping. So I like 
finely seasoned the fish with some basil and salt with a little bit of oil and I put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and then I added it to the stir fry and it was just... <laughs> Now I love chilies, but if you don't, just be sure to leave them out of the recipe. Add your fish in, mix it in and cook it for a few more minutes. See, because it was cooked in the oven before, it doesn't really require too much time on the pan. Just a quick sear so the, the flavor can get in, you know? <gasps> Delicious. I'm gonna leave a link for Noom in the description box. Be sure to click the link in my description to try out Noom and let me know what you think of it. Last, I'm gonna show you my favorite midnight snack. So this is just Greek yogurt and almond butter. It's so simple. I add about 30 grams of almond butter, mix it about into the yogurt. And if I'm feeling a bit fancy, if I need something a bit sweet, then I'll have a little bit of blueberries on top and it is a delicious, healthy snack. Do let me know if you try any of the recipes and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.